is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson IV here, bringing you guys more playoff NFL predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about the game between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. Now, everybody settle down. Everybody sit down on your seats, guys. Hold on to something, because I'm about to say this, guys. I'm about to say something very controversial right now. I am picking the Indianapolis Colts to win this game. I am picking them, because there are the underdogs of the AFC. Not the Baltimore Ravens versus the New England Patriots. I'm picking the Indianapolis Colts for the AFC. Now, for the NFC, I picked the, the Carolina Panthers. And I already talked about it like a video ago, so you might want to go back, you know, a few videos back and watch the, my prediction between the Panthers and the Seattle Seahawks. I picked the Panthers to win, but I predicted that the Seahawks are actually going to win the game. Well, this game, I'm picking the Indianapolis Colts to win, but I'm predicting that the Denver Broncos will win. And let me tell you guys why. The Colts, they have an underrated team. They really do. The defense is average. The offense, they only have a veteran, Reggie Wayne. They have T.Y. Hilton. They have Andrew Luck. These three guys are the ones making that offense. Maybe a few times for the running back, but I mostly see Andrew Luck as the main guy, the key of that offense. If he, the only way the Colts can actually win this game is if they score in every drive. No problems. Everything has to be consistent. Everything has to be on ball, man. They can't mess up. They can't throw a pick. They can't kick punts. They have to score. I know people are going to be saying, that, well, duh, you know, that's the way you can win the game. No. You got to keep Peyton off the field. All right? You don't know how much damage can Peyton do in, like, in one fucking play. This guy is a fucking master of offense. So my, my tips to the Colts, I know they're going to be like, oh, you're just a fucking amateur. Look, I don't give a damn. My, my freaking view, how I see it, the Colts gotta waste some time and seeing how Andrew Luck is very consistent on short passing these guys are gonna for sure waste like at least half of the freaking first quarter on offense yes they're gonna be like seven minutes into it in the first quarter they're gonna be like like every third down they're gonna be scoring a first down you know and they're gonna waste a lot of time that's the for sure their plan right now because they want to keep Payton off the field you don't want Payton in there man you don't want him in there they're gonna, he's gonna he's gonna raise the morale of the team and you know the team is going to go on and so forth and then it's a fucking tank going down a mountain and you don't want that you want it to be a fucking bandwagon going down a rocky mountain and destroying itself like along, along the way so my suggestion to the Indianapolis Colts waste the time on offense keep hitting off the field because your defense is so average they were not going to be able to stop Demarius are you fucking kidding me 6 foot 3 Demarius Thomas a speed freak is going to be all over your fucking ass in the deep zone and then we got Wes Welker. This guy's the best slot receiver they can have. And he can push, man. He's going to push his limit to actually catch some freaking catches, impossible catches on the inside lanes. Watch out with that guy. And then over here, we got a tight end named Julius Thomas. That guy is a dangerous guy. This guy's going to jump for every fucking catch. You know, he played basketball, and this guy is just going to make some fucking miracle catches for sure. He's going to he's, he's at one point for sure going to pull out an Odell Beckham or a Gorkowski. I don't know. But this guy has a lot of fucking jumping, man. Watch out. I'm not talking about Madden, of course. No, don't worry, guys. I'm not checking stats on Madden. I'm actually talking about gameplay, you know, real-life games, you know. I'm, this guy is going to jump for that fucking ball. And seeing how you have Cassius Vaughn and some other cornerback, these guys, you know, they're good. They're they're okay. But can they keep up with Demarius? Can they keep up with Woods Walker? Can they keep up with Judas Thomas? No. They don't have the right person up for that. Maybe like one receiver. They, maybe they can double cover one receiver. But what about the other two? Too many weapons, man. Too many weapons on the offense of the Denver Broncos. So, so yeah, guys. I mean, all I'm saying that is, the, is that the Indianapolis Colts are going to struggle. And if they, they want to win, they got to keep Payton out of the game. Now, as for the Denver Broncos, man, they have all the weapons. They have the Marcus Ware. They have Von Miller. They had a few guys on the defensive lineman. I mean... These guys is the whole package. These guys are the playoff team. But can that offense do it? Sometimes they're distracted. I don't know why they do that. Like, I remember, guys, when, when Payton was in the Indianapolis Colts, this guy will lose playoff games out of fucking nowhere. I don't know why. Even though he had the right linemen, even though he had the right personnel, he managed to lose with Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne. So, I don't know. I, but I believe Payton is still in his playoff form. He can actually still some, win some games, man. So... My final verdict, guys. My final verdict of this whole situation between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos is that the Broncos will win the game 32 
to 24. That's my, my that's my final score. The Broncos will win the game 32 to 24. The Indianapolis will lose, and the reason why they will lose is because they committed a turnover on the fourth quarter. That's the reason why the Indianapolis Colts will lose. Because I'm telling you guys, they're gonna waste a lot of time. But also, they're going to do it in the second half, which is on the wrong moments, and they're going to be down by a touchdown, and they don't have enough time to score, and they get picked off or something, and, you know, they just lose the game. That's how I see it, guys. So if you guys agree with me, leave a comment or leave a like on the video and tell me what's up. If you guys got any, you know, opinions about this game between this, you know, the, the Colts and the Broncos, leave it in the comment section. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Madden 15, Ultimate Team, and regular Madden 15.